We'll begin there tonight. Actually, it'll be the only verse that we look at, Philippians chapter 4. I think Philippians chapter 4 has got to be one of the richest chapters in the Bible. That doesn't mean that all the Bible is not important equally. It just means that God puts certain things in places and they really can help your heart. Philippians 4 is a chapter that I have recommended even this week to people who are facing death and facing trouble in their life. I told them, hey, look, spend some time in Philippians chapter 4. Now, we, we've been going through Philippians 4 as we've been also going through the book of Daniel, just not nearly as quickly. So let's just read these first four verses and then the fifth verse is where we'll land tonight, where we'll preach verse number 1 of Philippians 4. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Euodius and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Now verse 5 Verse 5 gives some instruction that's a choice. Let. That's what he says. Let. The word let is used often in Philippians, so it, it shows a choice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And I think that word moderation, that's a word that really we're going to have to look at tonight. Moderation. And I like to be able to look at other verses in the Bible to help me understand what a particular word means. But you can't do that here in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5 because moderation.